Uh, today is October 19th. It is 11-12. Fishing in the incoming tide today. There might be a chance that I'm going to get stranded here because the water is going to reach all the way past that post. High tide is going to be in about a couple hours. Should be around 6 6.3 feet or something like that which is pretty high i do have boots on again today hopefully i don't fall in the water like that other day i did so let's get it started all right so on this rod i have same setup as this right here i just have um half a squid on top on the top hook and um a third of a big piece of shrimp on the bottom hook i'm gonna reverse the order on this line on this pole to see if there's going to be any difference today so i'm going to put half of a squid on the bottom hook like so a third of a piece of shrimp like that Get this out. Make sure my drag's set. Nice and loose. And we're set. Now we just gotta wait. Right, guys so we've been out here for roughly you know three to four hours already it's already almost two o'clock in the afternoon uh the waters the high tide came in and it's kind of slacking out right now so far no bites at all nothing nothing running yet it's been really slow so far patience is the main thing here and low tide is going to be around six or seven o'clock so hopefully we get some fish uh moving around looking for food during that transition right there or even right now during the slack tide Fuck. yes yes Got a fish. Got a fish. Finally. Finally. Oh. All day. Been waiting all day for the first one. I don't know what it is, but. I think I might, ha I might have my first, my first leopard. I'm taking my time with this. This is, it's not running like a bat ray at all. If it was a bat ray, it would have booked it already. And thank God it's not, because if it was, I'm pretty sure I would have gotten cut off by that sailboat right here. He does not want to come at all. He's just, I'm trying to turn him. He does not want to turn at all. Uh oh.
whatever it is is getting tired is ready to come in All right, I think I turned him around successfully. Feels like he's coming in really good, real easy now. It's not fighting as much. Yeah, I don't know. This run was weird. So this is either a really small bat ray or this is going to be my first leopard shark. I'm just trying to feel, make sure he's not going to go for on any more runs kind of gently easing him in i could feel his head moving yeah yeah come on come on baby come on we're waiting all day for the first bite since 11 and right now it's already about 4 30 or 5 or 4 somewhere around that area i'll check after i get this in this is my main priority right now is trying to bring this in without breaking it off and i'm really screwed if this is a leopard shark because i see sea lions coming in right now and i know that they like to eat it yeah this one's he's not budging right now feels like he wants to I'm not going to force it because I've broken enough lines already in the past uh, month. Pretty much the past three weeks here. Oh, he's coming quick now. It's pretty close. About 30 feet away. But he's still down. What is this? Oh, he's on the bottom. He's on the bottom. Oh, I think it's a ray. I look like a ray. Yeah, this feels like a ray now. This feels exactly like a ray now. I was really hoping this was going to be a 20, po 20 pound leopard shark. You really saved me your runs for later, aren't you? Oh man, he wants to stay down now. It's coming up, it's coming up. Jesus, man. What are you, you saying? Oh, no. He's saying I'm other line now. Oh, no. This is going to be even more difficult. We're going to take him back around. I was gonna take him back around. You done? Yeah, that's definitely about right. I saw the there's a boil right there. I'm pretty sure those the sea lions would have gotten it already if it was a leopard shark. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's the bat ray. Oh, 
nice one. Oh. Jeez. I'll try to get a glimpse. Oh, it's another big one. That's another big one. All right. There's no way I'm landing this by myself. I'm going to attempt to call my dad. Oh, I fight this fish one-handed. I don't know. I, I might have missed the first run while I was looking for sandworms. I noticed the rod kind of bouncing a bit. Yeah, I noticed the rod bouncing a bit. Oh, no. Shouldn't have. Shouldn't have done that. Get back up. Back up. Which might explain why it wasn't fighting at first like a bat ray when I got the rod. So I'm going to call my dad right now. Hey, I need help. I need help. I have a bat rear right now. Yeah. I can't get I can't bring it up by myself. The the tide's too low. Yeah, I have it right now. It's 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 tired. I'm just holding it next to Oh, it's running again. It's running again. I'm just holding it next to the rocks. I seriously have no idea how long I'm going to have to wait for my dad to bring the gaff. There she is. Oh, she feels like a solid 40 pounder at least. I sure wish she would just stay. Oh, she's going on another. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, this one was much smaller than that one that I lost on Saturday. About half the size. the hook oh watch out 
Let's get a quick wait on this really quick. Roughly 42 pounds, 10 pounds smaller than the one for Saturday, 43.63, 43.63 pounds, yeah, if it's one small though, they, they get up, they get over 100 pounds, Oh yeah, yeah, all right guys, so uh, I am going to officially call it a day. Uh, overall, the bite from low tide to high tide, two hours before the top of the high tide, it's not there yet. But we were able to hook, hook up to one, one pretty damn decent bat ray, 43, 44 pounds to end the day. Sorry for the repetitiveness of the uploads there's going to be a lot of bat rays videos you know there's going to be more rock fishing and eel videos on the way i'm just trying to really figure out my local area even more than i know it right now so thanks for watching and i really hope to see you guys next time